So, uh, we made the film on the life of Major Sandeep Unikrishnan, who is one of the saviors of Mumbai in the 2611 attacks. He was awarded the Ashok Chakra and it is a story on his life. My first request would be, is there any way, is there any way in your extremely busy schedule, I can show you this film? <laughs> if you… if you come with uh, whatever, you know, a, a, a digital device to the ashram, we can play it on the big screen for everybody there. And uh, you are so close to the armed forces of our country. I wanted to ask you, can you please tell our youth, what does it mean to be a soldier? Well, uh, I have nothing against uh, whatever you're doing with your lives, but I want you to understand, you went to the cinema and sa sat for two and a half hours because there are soldiers standing there and protecting our nation. <laughs> Here, there are many people who think they are spiritual because they can close their eyes and sit. You can close your eyes and sit because there are soldiers standing on our border, sacrificing their life. Your children are going to school because there is some child out there who is willing to be orphaned. There is some father out there who is willing to orphan his own children. That is why your children are going to school. Your wife is all nicely dressed up and walking around. We're glad, but you must understand that's happening only because there is a man out there who is willing to widow his own wife. This is not a small thing. It's unfortunately... See, <laughs> in India we have this issue. When I talk to people, I want all the young people to listen carefully and understand. Hello? I want you to understand this, that anything that we are doing in our life today is possible only because somebody is defending this land all the time with their lives. And I also want you to understand that being a soldier does not mean he wants to die, but he is willing to die, it's a very big difference. <laughs> Somebody wants to die, that is a different matter. That's a matter of frustration, uh, you know, disappointment, something else. Somebody wants to live, but he is willing to die for something that matters to everybody, that is a different affair altogether. So, when I'm talking to people, I'm hearing this, people think, especially in South India, all of you young people, especially in Southern India, we have this problem, we think war happens on the border. <laughs> war happens on the border because our brave soldiers have never let anybody come here. Otherwise, war would happen here in your town. In the past it's happened, isn't it? When the invaders came, they came deep inside and ravaged the place. Today, in the last seventy-five years, whatever wars happened only happened on the border because they are defending this country with their life. No matter what, they're not letting anybody come into the nation. So you must understand, wars don't happen on the border. The idea of war is to enter the nation, but somebody is stopping at the border. We must owe everything that we do in our lives, whether it's business, spirituality, cinema, studies, whatever you're doing, it's only because those men are standing there and willing to die for this nation. Nenu. Major because he had lost his son and he's close to eighty years old. When I asked him, he said, Soldier and Tethering a poor Anatam Kadu, Priti Manishik Manamunna Manthari Mevadam. And 
I'm so proud that you echo uh, in many layers the same emotion that a real soldier's father is feeling. They're all my children too.